What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at again with another video. So we got to talk about what happened on this episode of Friday Night Smackdown. The most noticeable thing um, that happened with the bloodline. Uh, I've been loving what Triple H has been doing. He is now post WrestleMania and he's he's cooking up some more future storylines that I think us fans are going to be looking forward to seeing how it plays out. He did it with Monday Night Raw with the whole Cody and The Rock. They're going to have their back and forth at some point. And The Rock mentioning that he pinned Cody at WrestleMania this year. And now we got some stuff heating up with the bloodline. So the show started off with Cody coming out there. Pretty much, you know, just talking about what happened. And him being at the top of the mountain now. And uh, pretty much... Um, getting people excited for the two triple threat matches matches to see who was going to be the number one contender uh to face him at backlash which i i do think ultimately it ended up being la knight and and aj styles um winning their respective triple threats ma triple threat matches i do think aj styles will be the one to be victorious obviously he's probably going to cheat to beat la knight and it's going to be aj styles versus cody rhodes that's going to be his first opponent at backlash for the wwe championship looking forward to that i think that's going to be pretty good um but after cody had his uh you know initial promo segment and you know brought it you know hyping people up for the show you cut to the back and you see paul Heyman, solo and jimmy and then they're about to go you they're about to walk into a their locker room but it's not their locker room no more. It says American Nightmare on the locker room door where normally it would say the bloodline. And you see Kevin Owens trying to scoop past and get in there. He's like, you guys are not allowed in here. And I like that. And Paul was trying to calm down Solo. And, you know, basically saying, well, this is what happens. He won. You know, this is what happens, you know, when you lose. You, you lose your spot. But it's okay. You know, we're going to rectify this. So they go to the ring and Paul Heyman basically talks about how last year's WrestleMania, um, Cody wasn't prepared when Solo attacked him. He was not prepared, but this year Cody was able to be prepared when the John Cena got involved when The Undertaker got involved. And then the most noticeable thing that he talked about was Seth Rollins. When Seth Rollins got involved and Roman had the opportunity to hit Seth or Cody with the steel chair. And he couldn't help himself. He couldn't be. He, he got tempted. He wanted to get his revenge on Seth Rollins. And he hit Seth Rollins with the chair. And ultimately, it cost him the match. I like the fact that he even mentioned Seth Rollins was Cody's shield. And he definitely was for this WrestleMania season and for uh, WrestleMania as a whole. Seth Ro as a whole, Seth Rollins was Cody's shield. So I like that he brought that up. He said Roman got tempted. So at this point, he's basically saying, you know, the, you know, we're we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna figure this out. We're gonna get back to where we need to. But then. Solo stops him. Solo stops him. He grabs the mic. And he essentially says, so the people that lost, right, they should be dealt with, right? They, there should be some consequences for those who lose, right? And Paul Heyman's starting to freak out because technically Roman did lose. But you know who else lost? Jimmy he goes over to Jimmy he looks at him Jimmy's getting mad like yo what, what the hell you know he goes over to him and he says in his ear he hugs him you know we're brothers and you know I love you he's like, all right cool all right yeah I, I love you too then all of a sudden it's always motherfuckers with black hoodies a person attacks Jimmy from behind with a black hoodie and then he reveals himself as Tamatunga. And the crowd's chanting, holy shit. I, I start getting excited because I'm like, oh, wow. I guess the rumors are true. I guess the rumors are true that uh, 
I'm, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Tomatonga. <laughs> Let me know if I am down below. But the rumors were that he was supposed to be coming to WWE as well as Jacob Fought too, and maybe potentially Zilla. Not sure. But he was one of those listed rumors of people coming to WWE. And he attacked Jimmy. Start giving him the beats. Start packing him up. And then he even drags him into the middle of the ring. So Solo can start packing him up with a Samoan spike. Paul Heyman doesn't know what, what's going on. He He's freaking out in the corner. And he's, bro, Jimmy got packed up by Solo with the Samoan spike over and over and over. Then Tama gets out the ring, gets a steel chair, gives it to Solo. They place Solo, um, uh, they place Jimmy in the corner. And they put the steel chair around his neck. And they and Solo proceeds to tell him, I love you. You know, I love you, brother. You know, I'm always love you. And he goes to the other side of the ring and he runs full speed at Jimmy with the chair around his neck. And I don't know what you call it. It's like that, that, like uh that hip bomb attack. Like he turns around, you know, saying run full speed at somebody and use they like his hip to, you know, for the impact. Brutal spot. Packed him up. Jimmy got packed up again by his family members. If he doesn't learn this time, storyline wise, there's no saving this guy. Gave him the Another batch of the CTEs. His family keeps packing this guy up. Paul is freaking out, like I said. So he goes to call Roman. And he solo snatches the phone, throws it on the ground, and starts stomping on it. It's like, nah, bro. It's not happening. And essentially, it looks as if Solo is taking things into his own hands with uh Tama Tonga. It seems like we're getting like a new bloodline 2.0 since Roman is not there. We cut to the back. They're talking about Jimmy and his medical state being super packed up, right? Paul Heyman comes out there and then Tama Tonga comes face to face with him. Paul Heyman's freaking out. And I think he says something to the extent of under tribal chief's orders or whatever. And then Solo comes over there. He smirks. He looks at his thumb. And then he smirks. And then he walks away. So the real question becomes. Did Solo operate on his own behalf? Or is The Rock behind this? Because it's clear as day. Roman's not behind this. They destroyed the phone that Paul Heyman's going to call Roman with. Roman's not behind this. It's either The Rock or maybe Solo taking over since... Roman's not there. Is Roman not the tribal chief no more? Is it The Rock? Maybe it is The Rock. Because The Rock did say he did not lose at WrestleMania. Roman did. That's what makes this so good. Because you can go either way here. You can either go with Solo saying, I'm going to take things into my own hands. Or you can go with The Rock giving orders that Paul Heyman didn't know about to Solo to get um, Tama Tonga. Either way, this is great. This was the highlight of the show because now it's going to be interesting to see what Solo does going forward. I think he's probably going to be more of that authority figure here. And it's going to be very interesting to see what Jay does because you know Jay is going to want to, you know, get revenge for his brother. This is... This is cooking up. And um, the rumors are that uh, Jacob Fatu uh, may have been signed by WWE. I'm not sure. But they bring him into the mix. Maybe he aligns himself with Jay. And when Roman and The Rock get back, sometimes around Survivor Series, we get a bloodline warfare match. Because this is what is starting to, I, it's, it's starting to feel like lines are starting to be drawn here. Roman definitely didn't approve of this. Maybe The Rock did. Who knows? This is what makes this good. This is how you get the bloodline story even more, you know, give it some more momentum because we finished one chapter with Roman losing. Now what's going to happen that he's lost. There's chaos and Arky. He's not the tribal chief. No one more, no more in a sense to some people. This is going to be great. Triple H, you cooking. 
and I, I am looking forward to the ride that you're about to give us. Very interested. Comment down below. Let me know what do you guys think is happening. Do you guys feel like Solo went into business for himself? Or do you guys think The Rock told Solo to do this? Where do you think this is going to end up? How is this going to play out? And let me know if are you as excited now even more than what's about to happen with the Bloodline story. Because I think we, we're literally about to get something great. But I appreciate all love, support, road to 150k, and I'm seeing you on speedy YouTube, rest and shepherd the world. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. See y'all next one. Peace.